Welcome to the highlights of the third day display in the second test between the Windies and Bangladesh in the IPA test series powered by Minister, co-sponsored by Marcel. Welcome again, Sabina Park, the venue for the action in this second test match. And this third day would be a critical one because the Windies were in a very strong position coming in in their second innings at 19 for one Smith and the night watchman Paul at the crease. The solitary wicket taken so far was uh, to the credit of uh, the Bangladesh captain Shakib Al Hassan. Which meant that the Windies were 224 runs ahead. The pitch, surprisingly, here at Sabina had offered a lot of help for the slow bowlers in this contest, and that was all set, it seemed, to continue. We'll go to the top of the action now where Jeffrey Dujon was with Darren Ganga. The run scoring intent by the Windies batsman. Devon Smith in particular will be looking for runs. Kimo Paul, the debutant, has the opportunity to open his account in terms of runs in test cricket. Had a very good spell with the ball. He picked up two wickets for 25 runs. But Bangladesh behind the eight ball. Good morning to you, Jeffrey Dujon. Good morning, Darren, and welcome to all our viewers. Abu Jayed to start. Starts well, short of a length, just on that off stump line. And Bangladesh will be thinking about what transpired in that first session on day two. Cut away. He finds the gap. This is uh, one of his strong areas, Devon Smith. He pounces on it and continues his scoring, his third boundary. Well, this delivery was so short and gave him acres of room that he could just stand there and stroke it away but one good thing he did darren was that he hit it in front of point well, that's beautifully played by kimo paul uses his feet nicely and gets off the mark yeah there will be some runs here for devon smith and I mentioned that uh, his experience is very similar to that of our colleague. In fact, Ian Bishop was also night watchman on his test debut. Well, this will be disappointing. Just talking about uh, Kimo Paul and his ability to bat. Charges. And the umpires the will check upstairs first, to ensure that legitimate stumping okay just just rock and roll that please a little bit just make sure that bat is yeah take it back now please keep it going forward keep it going forward sorry now forward keep it going forward keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going thank you the decision is not out Not out. Ah! Go Immediately to going to the square leg umpire, they will check up says for the stumping. Thank you, fair delivery. If we could move on to uh, side angle, please. Just rock and roll that, please. Keep it going through now. Okay, just rock and roll that back, please. As Just as the bales come off, you can freeze it, please. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, just keep this going through. This is good at the moment, please. Thank you. Decision is out. Very unfortunate for Devon Smith. His woes against uh, spin bowlers continue. 
would have been working really hard to rectify his technical issues. Not able to make use of this opportunity. Gone stump, good piece of work for Nurul Islam behind the stumps. And Shakib Al Hassan gets his second wicket. Smith goes for 16. It's 28 for two. Kieran Paul comes to the crease, replacing Devon Smith. And immediately, a miss stumping was there an inside edge. That's the question. Gone for the review. Okay, the LBW decision is pitching outside off. Impact umpire's call. I'm missing the wickets. I'm going to go back to Ravi on field, please. Ravi, you're on field now. Stay with your original decision. Hold on, mate. On to the attack. Nice shot. The aggressive intent. This time he makes contact. Kimo Paul gets a boundary. And you feel very comfortable hitting with the turn. Even though he's hitting into the wind. Makes good contact there. It's gone up in the air, but uh, the fielder will still not find it because it's gone all the way, has it? Yes, it has. Just for a moment, I thought maybe he's uh, not timed it. Looked like he didn't time it, but got enough and uh, brings up a six. Not a bad delivery from uh, Mehdi Hassan. Went down the wicket. Yeah! Played back. He's played back there. He has nailed that, Kimo Paul. His first six in Test match cricket. He looks to be a, a dasher. 50 comes up for the Windies. Yes, you've really got hold of it. Killer spell style as well. Down on one knee, and out she goes. That is a biggie. That is a terrific hit. Yeah. And that, in itself, has led to a couple of aggressive shots, and this may be the end of him, because they've crowded him. Keep that going through, keep that going through, keep that going through, keep it going through. Thank you. Load on the big screen. The decision is out. He picks up his man, Kimo Paul, gone for 13. Wendy's... 53 for 3. She Hope, another one who has, has struggled with the bat in this home international season. Goodness, that's a good shot. Because I don't think he got to the pitch of the ball, but the hands just, yeah, Shakib. He didn't, he barely got there. Yeah, it looked good, really good. Once again, just a little bit wide, but he got on top of it nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Close, 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 close. Close and given. Played back, it spun. Things for the umpire to think about. Was he struck inside the off stump? And how much did it turn? He's reviewing it. Uh, Ravi, pitch, pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets hitting. Um, going to go back to Ravi on field, please. You can save your original decision. You're on camera now. Another very good decision. Another wicket falls. Another wicket for Shakib Al Hassan. Powell goes. On a surface like this, uh, you're very dangerous to go on the back foot. If you miss, you're in trouble. Credit to Shakib Al Hassan. 
excellent delivery. What a time he is having with the ball. The captain leading from the front, sends back Van Powell for 18. Windy is now four down for 60. They know that they're so far behind. That's the why they've been uh, running between the wickets have been very good. Knowing that every run counts. Good run, hit it straight to the fielder. Looks plum and is plum given. Having a uh, look at his uh, partner, he said no. He has to go. So another wicket falls. Success for Taijul Islam in his very first over today. Yeah, it looked a good decision. Pad first. Good decision by the umpire. Good umpiring. That could have been mistaken for. Bat and pad. Shea Hope fails again. Windy's batting walls continue. He goes for four. 64 for five. Frost on chase. Whatever approach he chooses, he'll be looking for runs. We saw that in Karen Powell. His intent was ultra aggressive. Mum Farlingworth. Action here is a left arm tweaker himself. Playing for England. This has disappeared though with a delightful, simple execution of the sweep. It's risky business for Austin Chase. There are no fielders to that uh, backward square region, so if he makes good contact, he will get runs. He's got to be mindful if the ball pitches in line and he doesn't make contact. Runs the risk of getting LBW. Hello. I think so. The fielder lost it out there running back. And then there was another fielder running across there. It went to the heavens. Had a lot of hang time on it. Is it Mamadullah? Run it? No, I think it's Abu Jayad. Abu Jayad was chasing it. Mamadullah spun around and hung his head, but he uh, was watching the young fella go back at a deepish mid on and, and lost it completely, it seems. Yeah, nearly dropped on his feet. And new bowler. Mahedi greeted with a boundary. And he didn't quite get there. I remember you saying. A little off air. He's just going to be careful about holding his shape. Uses his feet, gets to the pitch of the ball. Very critical on a surface like this. His execution is good. He's very assured, not indecisive about what he wants to do. Yeah! Goes back and goes back deep. important runs will bring up the 300 run lead for the Windies 96 for 5 that's a much safer one and he's hit and that's gone Adjudicated out LBW and another success for this 24 year old who's having an impressive first test match series. Hetmeyer goes for 18, 97 for six. Shane Dorwich, man of the series against Sri Lanka. Lovely shot, nice flowing drive from Shane Dorwich to get him going. Brings up the 100. Lead now 306. This was nicely played. Got everything in position and timed it beautifully, Shane Dowrich. Well played by Chase. It flew past the gully in a flash. 
poor delivery as we close into lunch, and a poor delivery is a poor delivery any time of day or night. That's definitely short enough for him to be in control of that shot. Safely negotiated by Roston Chase in need of some runs. He's still there on 23 at lunch on day three. At lunch, the Windies had found themselves in a, a bit of trouble. 108 for six. 23 not out to Roston Chase and Shane Dorridge not out on four. The damage continued to be done by Bangladesh's captain and Shakib, who picked up four for 25. But it still meant the Windies were in a strong position, 313 runs ahead. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, we'll have the action from the second session of day three. Already four in the back for the skipper. We'll start the proceeding up to lunch. Four for 25. One of the leading all-rounders in Test match cricket, Chaki Balasan. 313, the lead now. Rosson Chase has stood tall. Top scorer so far in the innings. Dorich uh, had a good series against Sri Lanka. Very good shot on the up. He's been there for a while. He's assessed all the bowlers. Got a little bit of flight. Had the reach to get under it. Made very good contact. He likes it. Yeah, he must have enjoyed that. That's a very good hit. Short selections have been very good didn't try to hit it and take it on the onside it's just a little bit straighter that is a very good blow very good shot yeah got him didn't negotiate this one too well got his front foot a little too far across the offside and more importantly did not make contact that is what led to his demise once again, a batsman getting set, looking for a big total, it misses its complete. Didn't turn. And it probably played all over, all around it, and then uh, the go goes through uh, and hit the stumps. Good one from Mehdi Hassan in his uh, first over after lunch. Chase gone for 32. Windy's 122 for 7. Remember, he picked up uh, 5 for 93 in the first innings. The hero with the ball for Bangladesh. Right. Unbeaten. 33 in that first innings. Run out of partners. Ah! Yeah! Confident appeal. Immediately, Nurul Islam went up. Gone. Use of the feet, playing the wrong line. Nurul Islam makes no mistake. I thought he was uh, looking at for the turn. Or went a little straighter. Clever piece of bowling from Mehdi Hassan, the youngster, very impressive. Already a five wicket haul in the first inning. Just went straighter. Beautifully bowled. Last stumping, bringing Miguel Cummings to the crease. Ah! Once again, doing the job for the team. It's the batsmen who've let them down throughout the three innings that they have batted so far. Imrul Kais comes to my mind. Yes, ah, yes, yes! Bold him. Five for Shakib. Cummins playing down the wrong line. And there goes his off stump. The usual checks to be done. And 
Angus still have to check if the keeper disturbed the stumps. No, he didn't. And a Pfeiffer for Shakib. Cummins goes for just one. And it's 129 now for nine. Gats leaves no doubt. Six for Shakib. Best figures for a Bangladesh bowler outside of Bangladesh. He won't be happy, Stuart Law. It's been a total capitulation this morning. West Indies skittled out for 129. And this is the last man to go. Big Shannon Gabe. I'll tell you what, there's a little woodwork with the feather. There's plenty of woodwork here. Gabriel trying to smash this out of Sabina Park. Uh, Gabriel goes for a duck. Captain can stroll off, but like uh, Jason Holder with his Pfeiffer. He's, uh, gets a six for. Does uh, Shakib Alisan for Bangladesh. The Wendy's bowled out for 129. They'll be disappointed with that effort. Dorwich was not out on 12. The top score coming from Ruston Chase with 32. Spin proving the undoing of the Windies with Shakib Al Hassan picking up his 18th five wicket haul. In fact, he was six for 33 by the time the innings closed. It still meant, though, that Bangladesh needed to score 335 runs to try to win the test match. Up next, trying to find out now how Bangladesh would respond in chasing this total. And lots of time for the West Indies to bowl Bangladesh out and win this test match. Tami Iqbal got a good start in the first innings. He may have something to say about that. And Lytton Das, his partner. Negotiated by Tamim. It's nicely stroked. Don't go all the way. But it's two on the scoreboard. Ah, oh, he's hit him in front and he's going to give him. Look to keep a little bit low. Umpire reckons it would have hit the stumps. Are they going to review it? Yes, they are. Gone upstairs. Uh, Ravi pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets hitting. Uh, going to go back to Ravi on field, please. You can stay with your original decision on camera now. And Tamim's on his way. First wicket to the West Indies. Bangladesh, two for one. New batsman is Maminul Haq. He's on a pier, Maminul. Oh, beautifully played by Maminul Haq. Seven for one. Nicely guided by Litton Das. Still a fair amount of pace on the surface. So if you get yourself into good positions, you can score runs. Exactly what Litton Das does here. He reads the length of the ball very early, opens the blade, and he's in a very good position to play the ball. The lead question from Craig Brathwaite. 
Kyron Powell and belatedly Shannon Gabriel, wanting to know if it hit pad first before bat. It's always interesting when this happens. Bat and pad close, you just never know. Yeah, bat coming after the ball makes contact with the pad. Should have been reviewed. Might have been a wicket for Shannon Gabriel. Was it outside the line? Was it hitting in line? Looks like it was hitting in line. Wicket there for the taking. And the Windies letting it go. Might be four more. Second four for Lytton Das. Got fairly close to him. Got the result he wanted, but looked very awkward whilst playing the shot. Good thing is he, he remained side on and executed. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Use more of the pace. Litton Das doesn't mess around. There was a little bit of curve on that delivery but still able to whip it leg side for his third boundary the key here his base how stable it is look at it feet firmly planted hands momentum into the ball gets the timing the wrist as well flicking through oops Miguel Cummins couldn't get to it. Litton Das, emasculating holder in this over. Nice shot. Very quick hands. Goes through the ball. In full control. You see, no third slip, not that it would have carried to him anyway, but this has been a very good over. 16 off it, 31 for one. Get on, boys. And that is just fantastic. Stand and deliver. Atarelli Khan's out of his seat almost. Well, he certainly played some uh, shots and uh, shots with a lot of authority. That is the key. Gets into a good position, picks up the length. Oh, there's the cry catch, and there's a carry. Just when Atarelli Khan was saying that patience was working for Lytton Das, they've lost their second one. Fine, fine delivery. Throwing Yam Kim up all. Just want to confirm that it's definitely carried and the front foot. And that's perfectly fine from Kimo Paul. Second one down now for Bangladesh. Just enough shape. Yeah, didn't quite go with the feet, went with the hands. Good catch, though. Yeah, very good catch, but the way he played that shot, he just uh, away from the body. He was not doing that at all. Tried to do it once and pays a big price. Gone for 33. Bangladesh, 40 for two. Two down rather early. Now the tourists. 40 for two, in comes Captain Fantastic. He's done it with the ball and he's shown glimpses with the blade. Can he do it in this uh, fourth innings? A lovely shot. Just leans into it and finds the gap. A couple of runs to open his account. Good over, comes to an end. 42 for two. From Shea Hope. Oh, that's nice. He's a little bit wider, this one. And he dines out here. There's Mumino. Yeah, looks good when it comes off uh, beautifully from the middle part of the bat. Short. Plays it up very nicely indeed. Off the back foot. Square of the wicket for a boundary. Uh, 
lovely drive. Over tossed and got pumped. Brings up the 50 with the classical cover drive. Even uh, having seven men on the offside, it still pierced the gap. And pierced it very nicely. Touch fuller. Saw it early. Leans into it. And played it beautifully. He's got lovely hands, uh, Mominol. Yeah, big shout, is it? Just a polite inquiry. Given! Is Ravi has got the right index finger out here on the stroke of T. Captain's having a look at his partner. They kind of come upstairs. Yeah, we're going to have a little look. Understandably so. Right on the stroke of T, folks. Just uh, take me to Ultra Edge, please, when available. Ultra Edge coming up now. Keep it going. Clearly no bat involved. We'll go to ball tracking when ready, please. Pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. Going to go back to Ravi on field, please. Ravi, you're on camera now. Hold on. Mumano. He's out of here. Fatigue on for 15. It is 52 for three now. And that is T here at Sabina Park. At T Bangladesh in trouble, 52 for three, 33 to Litton Das, 15 to Muminul and Tamim going without scoring. Wickets for Holder. Kimo Paul and Ruston Chase. So another 283 more for Bangladesh to win or for the Windies, seven wickets to be picked up. Just one delivery left to complete an over that started before tea. Guys, that. 52 for three. Runs for Shakib. Oh, it's gone for four. And he's quick. Miguel Cummins across the turf, and he, he prevented one prior to T, but this one, he sort of gets there. Just the line and. It's just meat and drink for Shucky, but he gets all the way. And how much that technique of a bit of a slide? He's trying to get round the other side of the ball and stay on all, all fours, if you like. We saw as well that he can go each way. He can get each way movement from round the wicket to the left-handers, as we saw with the Tammy Mikbal dismissal in the first innings. Having to contribute. He's going to keep the strike here as Mumadullah. After 17 overs, Bangladesh is 61 for three. Kimo Paul. Yeah, that's what he does. Shakib Al Hassan. He'll do this to you. Play your shots. No point hanging around if it's in that zone, he says. Got to be positive. Whip was on offer. He likes the whiff, doesn't he? Whether it's full or whether it's short, he, he drives it or he cuts it away. Get it, shit. Taken. Good timing of the jump from Shea Hope. These senior players, Mamadula, etc. There will be great self-reflection. Oh, there certainly will be. That is such a poor way to get out when you are batting at five for your country. It's not white ball cricket, Mummers. This is a test match. And your country needs you to bat some time. Too easy, too soft to get out like this when you haven't got set. He goes for just four of ten deliveries, and Bangladesh now find themselves in a hole at 67 for four. Now, 
former captains in, Mushfika Rahim. Yeah, wealth of experience. And interesting, that he's coming in at six. And Mumadullah came in at five. And you could argue, well, you know, they were swapped around in the first test match. But massive moment. Over! Oh, good delivery. Height, flight, bounce. Probably saving Mushfika. That's the shot. That's the shot that Shakib likes. And that's the type of room that Kimo Paul did not want to give to him. As opposed to over and how you want to work it, but well, he's so adept at that. Shakib. Some innovation from uh, Mushfiq. And away for four. Can the former captain and the current captain stitched together a significant partnership time will tell that's beautifully played straight down the ground by Mushfikur. Yeah, if he's uh, capable of playing those shots then stick to the basics you really don't want to see him play too many shots what a lovely shot this is absolutely beautiful high elbow up Look at the follow through. Wow. <coughs> he enjoyed that. And he's welcomed with a boundary. A very good shot uh, from the skipper. Anything down the ground is so eye pleasing. We saw Mushfiq Rahim hit him in the one in the previous over down the ground. This time it's Shakib Al Hassan. Good touch. Seems to be in very really good touch. And that's cut away. Boundary number three. Well, uh, he's picked up his third boundary in this over. That uh, is not a problem for the bowler. He wouldn't mind that at all because they would want uh, both these players to play few shots. Just get them into a frame of mind. The pitch is getting better. And you've hit me for a couple of boundaries. Maybe it's just the length. It was shorter on that occasion. It's put it away off the back foot. Look at that. Very friendly as it gets pumped through cover. The 50 partnership brought up in style by Mushfika. This is a risky shot, but it's executed well. It makes it look very easy on the eyes. Gets on top of it. And the outsell received Darren Ganga. Captain, please do not transgress the front line, Skip. When you're looking at uh, closing out a test match, you've got to have that killer instinct. Jason Holder showing it exactly with the ball. And celebrating, why not? This is an important wicket in the context of the game. Mishfikir Rahim goes for 31. It's 121 for five. Oh, there's a big shout here. Fingers up as he got another golden one. No reviews. And the celebrations begin here for the Windies at Sabina. Well, it's happening again. Similar pattern we saw in the first innings. Losing wickets and pairs, yet again. Jason Holder. Nurul Hassan, who played that brilliant innings in the first test, yet again doesn't trouble the scorers. Misses this one completely. A King Pierre, a rarity in test cricket. He's got the dishonor of not scoring yet again. It's 121 for six. He knew that Glenn McGrath was his biggest threat and he wanted to play him on the non-striker's end. Nice boundary. Edge and gone. Very nice catch from Devon Smith. Diving in front of first slip. 
And Gabriel finally gets his first wicket. You see, it's into the pitch. It's not full. There's the bounce. That's what he's about. Smith comes across in front of Holder, the skipper, and takes a beauty. It's now 138 for seven. Very stylish from Taijul. It'll bring up the 150 for Bangladesh. The first time in this test series that they've gone past that 150 mark. That'll be 50 for Shakib Al Hassan. A match in which he picked up a six wicket haul. He achieves his 23rd half century. Only the second for Bangladesh on this tour. 159 for seven. He gets another one. He gets another one. He's having a ball of a time. With both bat and ball, captain removes captain. Four wickets to Jason Holder. The session holder. Oh, look at that nip back in quite sharply. You're talking about uh, how he's used the new ball and also the Duke ball with pronounced seam. Terrific delivery to send back Shakib after a very well made 54. Bangladesh 162 for eight. Oh, that looks out. That's 10 for, for the skipper, Jason Holder. Best match figures for the West Indian versus Bangladesh. Yeah, celebrations massive for the Windies. Look to hit him right in front of middle stump. And Jason Holder has now got the best match figures by a West Indies captain at home as he sends Kamal Islam back without scoring. It's 168 for nine. And he's done it! Last ball of this over. And he salutes to the heavens. Jason Holder does indeed get six for. Wonderful performance from the home side. Want to just check the no ball, of course. Just the norm these days. But lots of high fives and smiles. Yeah, that'll be swamp. There they sweet hands, fine. Best ever figures in a test match for J.O. Holder. Brilliant performance. Final wicket. And triumph, relief, all sorts of emotions for Jason Holder. As the West Indies take the series 2-0. Comprehensively, 166 runs here at Sabina. Tremendous performance by the home side. Fans delighted. So is the skipper. Got a stump for a souvenir. Domination in both test matches. Antigua and Jamaica. Bangladesh bowled out for 168 in 42 overs, a half century, 54 exactly for Shakib Al Hassan, only Bangladesh's second half century of the series, 31 to Mushfikur, and a tie jewel remain not out on 13. The destroyer was the Windies captain Jason Holder, who picked up six for 59, finishing with 11 wickets in the test match, an outstanding performance by the big man. So the summary of this second test match, the Windies winning by 166 runs and taking this two test series by a 2-0 margin. The man of the match award went to Jason Holder for his uh, 11 wickets in the test match. Once again, just reward. And he also picked up the man of the series, 28 wickets in this home season for him and important runs across the series too. We hope that you've enjoyed all the action. It's been frenetic, hasn't it? Some pitches that have rewarded bowlers. We thank you very much for being a part of this and look forward to your company next time. From Sabina, bye for now.